Yo, 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 guys, the Mavericks here. Good morning, evening, or afternoon to you. We are here today with a little bit of different video. Pokemon cards, they are a global phenomenon. There are so many things that we can do with them. We can collect them, we can play with them. And some people invest in the cards and sealed products. And this is what we're gonna talk about today. I want my channel to have something for everyone. That's why we have openings for people who like openings. We have gameplay videos for people who like playing the traditional card game or ETCG Live. And now I wanted to share with you guys some thoughts about investing in Pokemon TCG products. Of course, I am no professional and my advice should not be taken as such. These are just my thoughts and I will try to talk more about it and uh, argument for why I think the way I think. Today, we are going to take a closer look at one of my favorite Pokemon TCG sets from the Sword and Shield era. You ready guys? Let's do it! And voila! Huge mess appears. Today we are going to talk about Crown Zenith, as you can probably guess. Crown Zenith is the set that came out in the beginning of 2023. 230 cards in total, 160 cards from the base set and 70 gallery and gallery cards. This set was printed to oblivion, so many products, so many boxes, so much everything, which resulted in singles prices dropping a lot. Of course, cards in Europe are still much more expensive than the ones in the USA because I guess they, they print those there and you know they need to pay for like all those export costs and stuff like that. Uh, custom fees, whatever, it all adds up and we have to pay much more. But it hasn't stopped me from trying to collect the whole Galarian Gallery set. In the Galarian Gallery you can find awesome looking cards such as Arceus Vistar or Giratina Vistar, which we pulled. We pulled it from one of the openings back in the day, I think from the Premium Zacian collection. Yeah, check it out, I'll link it somewhere here or there. You can also find the Diablga and Palkia Vista there, and those cards are awesome. And they're quite expensive, but still awesome. And we can also find some cool, cheaper cards like Bidoof, Pikachu, Manaphy, or Lapras. So, like all the crowd favorites, right? So, I think everyone can find something for themselves in the Galarian Gallery. And it's an amazing set, that's all I wanna say. And cards may be cheaper now, but I truly believe that this is because of the huge number of products in circulation. Currently, you can still get your hands on elite trainer boxes or some sealed products with Crown Zenith packs. However, as the time goes by, the supply will run short and the demand will rise. Economics. Recently, I decided to invest in some Pokemon products and I immediately thought of Crown Zenith. It is still quite affordable. Take a look at what we have here. I bought two Elite Trainer boxes for around mm, 50 euro each, as well as a few Zacian and Zamazenta premium collections, each for around 55 euro, I believe. Each premium collection contains some cool accessories, I guess you can see like some promo cards, some pins, some figures, sleeves, stuff like that, as well as 11, 11 Crown Zenith packs. I truly believe it to be one of the best, if not the best, products from the Crown Zenith era. So yeah, take a look at those. Pokemon sealed products tend to rise in price. Just take a look at Evolving Skies or Hidden Fates or many other older sets. People in 5 or 10 years who missed out on Crown Zenith and there will be those people, there will be many people like those. They will still want to get their hands on a fancy Dratina or uh, Arceus, I'm pretty sure of that. And sure, you can buy the singles of the cards and keep them locked away in the basement for a million years, watching closely as the value inevitably rises. Yeah, that is a possibility and that's also a valid strategy for sure. Yeah. However, part of what makes Pokemon Seed products so popular is the thrill the adrenaline, the suspense that comes with opening the product. You never know what exactly you're gonna pull from the booster. Perhaps you will get a super expensive card that is worth 20 times more than the booster and you'll be overjoyed, you'll be screaming and, you know, amazing. Or perhaps you will barely break even. Or, most likely, 
most likely yeah this is a warning for all of you opening folks most likely you will not pull anything interesting that's how it works and sorry right but people like gambling and opening sealed products is just that gambling and i'm one of those people guilty as charged and people in five ten years will want to try their luck with crown zinu they will want to pull this giratina they will want to pull the arceus they will think why would i have to spend 200 300 euros on the on the on the Arceus itself if I can just open a box for 100 or 200 euros and get maybe two Arceus or Arceus and Giratina, right? It's not gonna happen. 99.9% .9 it's not gonna happen. But people will still do it because people like gambling and this is gambling and <laughs> yeah. Sealed products are the way to go, right? If you ever wanted to start investing in some Pokemon products, now is a good time, I feel and try to feel the market, try to look for products that are available right now, but probably won't be in the next few years. When supply is low and demand is high, prices skyrocket. So yeah, in this episode we are talking about the Crown Zenith and I chose Crown Zenith because it is now quite affordable. There are lots of products to choose from. You can find them in many shops online and stuff like that. You can still buy them for normal price, right? And I'm pretty sure that in five, 10 years, so we are talking long term here, right? Not so just some quick investment, buy now, sell in a month, earn five times of what you spend. No, 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 this is not what you're talking about. I want you to think about long term stuff. Just, you know, buy those products, lock them in a the basement, of course, like safe, safely lock it in the basement so it doesn't get damaged. And then forget about them. Forget about them, come to them in like five, 10 years and bam you'll be able to make a huge profit, I believe. So yeah, these are all just my personal thoughts and you know, of course I'm not an investor, not a professional investor, right? So yeah, so here it is, guys and girls, the first episode of the Cheaper Now, Later Wow series. And I, just, I totally just came up with that name right now and I'm gonna say it's pretty dope or maybe it isn't, I don't know, let me know what you think. What do you think about uh, this kind of video, guys? Do you think Crown Zenith will rise in popularity eventually or will it just crash down, no one will like it, no one will ever buy it and stuff like that? Which products do you buy as an investment? If you invest, let me know. I know you guys like watching me open things, so there is like a little announcement here. Next week we'll open one of those Zeshan or Samazenta premium collections. Last time we had a pretty great luck with those. So yeah, we are still missing a few cards from the Galarian Gallery, so perhaps we can get lucky. Yeah, make sure to like, subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Peace!